I'm here outside Airdrie Sheriff Court where earlier this week YouTube comedian Marcus Meekin, otherwise known as Count Dankula, was convicted of making a grossly offensive video. In the video he taught his girlfriend's pug dog to do a Nazi salute whilst he repeated the phrase, gas the Jews. Count Dankula is due to be sentenced in April. Right, Tim, I want to talk about this. Oh, right, right, okay. So some people found this offensive understandable. Some people found it funny. The video got shared three million times on YouTube with lots of inane comments like lol underneath. Okay, so clearly some people found it funny. What's that tell you, Tim? It tells you that both offence and humour are subjective. Either way, it was a fucking joke, you cunts! And he might go to prison. Okay, he was convicted because the judge believed he was inciting racial hatred. It's a fucking pug dog. He was mocking Nazis. I'll tell you where else in history you'd be convicted of a crime for teaching your dog to mock Nazis. Nazi fucking Germany. You'd have had the fucking Gestapo kicking your fucking door in. The fucking EDL isn't watching the video of a Nazi pug dog going, yeah, that portrays us in a good light. Find me one neo-Nazi who is using that YouTube clip as a recruiting tool. It's a pug mimicking their glorious leader. So yes, it is offensive if you're a fucking Nazi. What if you mock something and some twat is offended and some uptight, humourless judge doesn't get the joke? And, and because the Scottish legal system is so backward, you might not even get a fucking jury. You're fucked in that instance. This judge has basically said we are not allowed to make fun of Nazis in case it's misinterpreted. The prosecution said that context and intent are irrelevant, and the judge agreed. Think about that, Tim. In order to get a conviction, they had to willfully misunderstand the context of the video. The judge basically admitted it. Yes, Tim, yes, he did repeatedly use the phrase, gas the Jews. It's the extremity of the phrase is the point. That's the joke, funny or not, offensive or not. And without context, of course it's not funny. But in context, it's a cute little pug dog reacting to the one of the worst things you could ever say. That's the fucking point. It's a joke, you fucking cunts. Where are the artists, the writers? Where are the fucking, where are the comedians? Where are they? Why are they not up in fucking arms? You've got, you've got Ricky Gervais, David Baddiel, a handful of others, that's it basically. Everyone else is a fucking coward. The reason they don't want to stick their head above the parapet is because, you know, freedom of speech is like so unfashionable these days. What the fuck is going on when the likes of Tommy Robinson and Katie Hopkins hold the mantle of free speech? They don't own the principle. And just because some nasty people have supported this guy doesn't mean the principle is wrong. We need to reclaim that fucking fight, man. This matters. The law works in precedence. Once one person is convicted for telling a joke, that's it. And, and can we convict retrospectively? I mean, we have quite a lot of historical cases being tried at the moment. So, you know, why not convict John Cleese, Jerry Sadowitz? Let's dig Bill Hicks up. At and, and, if the judge has ruled that context is irrelevant, then surely even me reporting that he used the phrase gas the Jews is anti-Semitic. If context is irrelevant, I am right now inciting racial hatred, according to the Scottish courts, just by reporting the case. In which case, fuck it, if I'm going down, I'm going down in style. Higgs, Kyle, fight the noise of Neuschka, neither of our fucking springtime for Hitler. And right, well, Tim, this is me miming being a Nazi fucking the Von Trapps. Fucking grow up, you stupid authoritarian, humorless, tyrannical cunts. I am outside Airdrie Sheriff Court where earlier this week YouTube comedian.